Hey, Scott here. I just wanted to preview something really quick for you, and that is what we've done to improve the way that we trip plan uh, here in Notion, which is a free app we use to collaborate, my wife and I, on trip planning. Um, and actually, we, we do a bunch of other things on here. But uh, what we've done is we've taken what used to be seasonal uh brainstorming uh, trip planning pages, and we've turned that into a much more sophisticated database. Now, database sounds complicated. It's it's really not. It takes a little bit of effort to get set up, but once you set up the system, uh, it's really, really easy to use, way easier than those blank pages we were using before. So I'm just going to hop in here and give you a quick tour. So we call it our trip calendar. Now, the interesting thing here is that we basically started, th this is the base idea. Every entry in this database is a trip idea initially. So it's a trip that we might wanna take. And when we associate it with a date, it becomes a trip that we're planning to take, right? We have a certain time period that we're gonna take it. After that time period passes, it automatically moves into our archive. So the really nice thing about this is that you can have uh, just a countless number of views, whatever you wanna set up, however you wanna filter your database in a way that really makes it easy to see uh, where you are in planning, uh, like your current status, uh, to find, to pick which trips you wanna do, and uh, then to keep track of all the information related to that trip. So. I'll kind of walk you through what that looks like. So basically, uh, to start, we have a lot of potential times that we can take trips. So basically, we've gone through our own calendar and we picked out all of the open weekends that we have available, our long weekends, all of those times that we have available to travel. We put them all in the database here, at least as a placeholder. So you'll see untitled, that's a placeholder. Ones with question marks, that's a placeholder. Basically, everything that says open here is one that we haven't decided exactly what to do yet. We haven't committed to doing that yet. We can easily come over here and take a look at upcoming trips and see the ones that we have committed to. Uh, we have a bunch of little um, tags to show you the, the status. And uh, that actually makes it really, really useful. So I put a... Um, example trip in here uh, just very quickly. This is a sample Grand Canyon trip. So this is a database entry. Uh, you can see there's no date associated with it. So this is still a trip idea, but we know that it's kind of a long weekend trip. Like this isn't, this isn't a really long trip. This isn't just a day trip. It's too far away from Phoenix for that to be the case. So I've selected as in the idea stage, hey, this is like a long weekend trip. And it's probably best in the summer because we're gonna spend time just on the rim. We're not gonna hike into the canyon. Summer's the best time for that. It's about 7,000 feet elevation. Uh, and we're primarily going to be hiking and camping. So these are all tags that I can delineate, I can pick out. Um, and this, this trip is basically like a hangout at Mather Campground and on the South Rim and maybe hike the rim trail a little bit. And I can also put all these different statuses too. So here's like what's going on with the trip. Do we need to make reservations? Do we need to invite other people? Is there a gear issue that we have to get sorted out, buy new gear, whatever? Um, do we still have to like decide that we're gonna do this trip? Like finally pull the, pull the trigger on it? Um, is this confirmed? Is so forth, right? You have all those different options. And then, of course, we can just start typing whatever we want here. Um, you know, do the trip planning right here. Both Jen and I can see it. We can both add our own comments. We can do whatever. That's really awesome. When it's time, when it comes time to actually pick the weekend, we can just pull this up. Let's say we're going to do it. Uh, I don't know. We'll say the fourth through the sixth. Um, and we have that other calendar, it shows what's available. We could also just edit that placeholder entry if we had a specific idea. Uh, but this makes it really easy to find an idea that works for the weekend. So once I do that, it's going to move it into the upcoming trips view, um, which is awesome. So here's the sample Grand Canyon trip and it's right there. Uh, and we'll say, well, we need to definitely need to reserve and we need to invite some people because because uh, we want to do this as a, a group trip, and so we could we could then down here actually write you know who we actually want to invite. So that's that's really awesome. Once this date passes, it falls off of this view, so we're not cluttered 
with uh, those previous views. In fact, they would go into our archive. So here's an example archive trip um, that's, you know, happened already. So you can see that uh, we put in a final, final uh, cost. These are wrap up um, uh, items that we do after a trip. So we we pull together our travel journals, we pull together the cost, we uh, put in links to our uh, photos that we posted, and we can have that all here. You can see here's different things we could do, uh, we could uh, have within the trip information here, tasks, here's the itinerary, this is obviously just an example. One of the real benefits of having this as a database is that, a database entry, is that using the Notion Web Clipper uh, in a similar way that you can uh, keep track of your adventure files, those those guides and resources to uh, places for places you might want to go in the future, you can do all of your trip planning and just have it automatically aggregate right here just by using the web clipper. So it's super easy. You go to a page that you want to save. You clip your web clip. You tap your web clipper. Uh, you type in the trip name and then you click save. And what it does is it pulls up a version of the website, a simplified version. So this is one, this is just a random blog post I found, uh, but it you know, has all these ads in it and things like that, but uh, it's Notion strips all that, just puts it in here so you have all this useful information and it's right within the actual database entry. So it's just super easy. Uh, you have all the information right there. Now, one of the other benefits of this system is because of the status, we can quickly uh, look up all the things we need to do. So here are example trips or trips that we need to reserve, make reservations, whether it's a campground, whether that's a rental car, a hotel, plane flight, tour, whatever. Uh, this is just a quick way to see, oh, what do we have left to do? Here's ones we need to research. Here's ones we need to invite people on. Super easy. The other thing that we can do is we can make sure that we get all of our available time off uh, utilized. So we get a lot of long weekends, three-day weekends. Every other weekend, we have a three-day weekend. So we want to make good use of that. It's kind of more important for us to use the long weekends, obviously, than, than just a normal two-day weekend. So here's a view that I've set up just to make sure that we plan these open long weekends. These are long weekends we have not already committed a trip to. Uh, and then, of course, when you're picking those those times, um, because you can set this up with the season, we can easily pick which um, uh, find all the trip ideas that are that are that work for that. So, if we're looking to fill a summer weekend, well, here's all the trip ideas we have, and we could have specific information within them. This is, oh, here's a place that we might want to disperse camp uh, near the Grand Canyon. This happens to be on the North Rim. So that makes it really easy to figure out. Uh, here are longer trips, here's uh, domestic trips, uh, and you can see that we've changed the view on some of these. So these are a little bit prettier to look at uh, because they're kind of bigger trips. We spent a few moments finding a photo for each of them or an international trip. Um, so these are all ideas. We have uh, lots of trip plans already squared away. It's one thing that Jen loves to do um, as a way to like unwind. Uh, so it makes it super easy. Now. One of the other benefits here is that you can also do things like track your costs. So here is uh, a different view. This is the same database, uh, but we have it displaying in a different place. And of course we have um, this set up to show us our cost. And we, we track a bunch of other things. We don't track it specifically within um, this view. This view is really dedicated to showing our overall trip costs over the course of the year and uh, the cost per day, which is a measurement we use for planning in the future. So this makes it really easy. Obviously this would help inform your travel budget. Uh, and of course we do other things like uh, keep track of our vacation time, our other group trips. Uh, we're you know considering doing, uh, we have goals of group trips that we wanna to put together. And because we can use a tag, we can keep track of all the things that we are uh, you know, considering doing as group trips in the future. So here's a couple uh, domestic ones, uh, some potential international ones. Um, you know, we have ones for tentative. I don't know if anything displays. Yeah, so we've already started inviting some people to this group trip. So we can keep track of all this stuff really, really easily. Uh, and that just, it just makes it so uh, easy to do. 
so anyway, and then we have another area that we call the inbox. So these are quick trip ideas that we just want to log real quickly uh, before we forget about them. Maybe we're in a conversation with somebody and, oh, it would be great to do a Kauai group trip. Well, we toss it in here. And then once we go through and add some of these details, it automatically uh, goes to the right spots in our, in our database. In fact, in our travel dashboard, we have an improve these entries view, which basically uh, pulls up things that where we could probably add some more information to these trips to make them a little bit more useful. So we can see which ones we need to add the correct season. Uh, so we have a better idea of when we should plan it and uh, add activities. And then of course we can also take another look at the inbox here. So anyway, it seems really complicated how, how this might be set up initially, uh, but it, it's actually pretty simple. And the best part of this is I'm going to clean this up and put it together as a, uh, a template that you can download and just use for yourself. And then of course you can make whatever changes you want. So for each of these, you can, you know, change the filtering or sort it in a certain way, whatever. Uh, and I'll make that available uh, to everybody on my email list. So if you want to uh, make sure that you are notified of that, go over to rscottjones.com and type in your email over there. Anyway, if you have any questions about this uh, or have any feedback or suggestions, uh, email me at hey at rscottjones.com. Uh, so there you go.